the hell? That was from about nine yards. Well, paces at least. That much penetration with just a field tip. I didn't even bother to turn it on because I didn't think I'd even hit the target. Alright, so let's go. Yeah, let's go. Another nine. One, two, three, four. After I turned the camera off yesterday, I was looking at how the arrow feeds through the shelf, and other than the obvious that I made a left-handed bow, I'm not an archer, I'm not a bow maker. <laughs> I'm a survival nut and bushcrafter, so I was thinking that small shelf could very well be what was causing massive inaccuracy. However, when I just flip it around to here, ta-da, it shoots so much better. Uh-oh, we have, we have cracks. It is starting to give. That is not good. See, that's why I meant by you want a more gradual bend to it, because it's got all that tension in there. I think I might have to thin out the limbs a little bit more real quick try and get some of the tension off of there because I would love to keep this bow it's fun to shoot and it's actually surprisingly accurate now that I'm using my hand as the shelf and feeding the arrow in on the right side but I don't know I might take my knife and quickly try and thin that out to take a little bit of strain off I don't know Oh, bad idea right now. Wish me luck. Maybe I can save it. So I might have lost a little power thinning out that other limb to take some of the pressure off of that bend. You know what? I'd rather have a little bit less power and accuracy than have it ex basically snap and hit me in the face. Which is still a possibility and it's not really the safest using a bow like this. I mean, I really don't think I would, I really don't think I would recommend using a bow that's started to crack. But, mm, I'm not always the best person to be copying. But then again, I'm an idiot who lives dangerously, so... Again, not an archer. Alright, we're going to have to use some Kentucky windage and aim for the side. That with a razor sharp broadhead. And it could be good night, Mr. Rabbit. Really got to start compensating. So at this point in time, I am not finding enough accuracy. More likely because of me. But, but basically, I do not think I have enough accuracy to hit an animal small enough to ensure a clean kill with this bow. It's only getting, oh, I don't know how much that is. No. About the width of my fist is about how much penetration it's getting into that foam target. It may be a hard archery foam target, but you know, I have no way of knowing how that would translate into flesh and bone. Then again, we're also using field tips on a very light arrow. Might do better with a heavier arrow and a really sharp broadhead, I do not know. Like I said, not an archer. I'm just a, 
I'm just a very, very strange Australian bushcrafter. But you know, I can at least hit something that size from, uh, I'd say I'm about 10, 11 paces away from it. And I got about that much penetration. If I was to hit Vitals on a rabbit, I think I could, I think that might kill it. But I don't know how well that target would translate into flesh and bone. But even if that is sufficient to ethically kill a rabbit, I, I'm not finding that I have enough accuracy. But to be honest, if I was starving in a survival situation and I had the shot, if I was starving, I think I'd take the shot. But then again, with my knowledge of wild edibles, I don't think I'd be starving too easy. But I think I'll keep playing around with it. However, I might tighten up this string. It's lost a bit of power from and then take a little bit of wood off of the limb. Might, so I might tighten up, I might not. I really should put a little bead or something on the string so I can consistently have it knocked at the exact same location on the string. Work out the best spot for it. I want to put a real wrap around it so it's got a consistent level for the shelf instead of just my hand because I'm just using the, my hand as the shelf that's not always going to be perfectly consistent even though I've got a little line scratched onto it of where I keep my hand it's just not going to be completely consistent but with a proper wrap on it to keep the shelf in the exact same spot every shot and a bead or something on the string or even just marking it with a permanent marker so that I always have it knocked in the exact same point on the string if I have that, plus always making sure that I have a perfectly consistent cheek weld and posture, I think I might be able to, you know, with enough practice, be able to shoot this thing accurately. And if I ever do get it accurate enough, and if a broadhead improves the penetration enough, who knows? One day I might even give it a camouflage coat of paint. But with that said, I can definitely say that I feel like I've caught the archery bug. After shooting this, I'm... Uh, I'm just falling in love with this. The whole concept of archery. I'm going to fall in love with archery. I think it's about time I got myself a nice takedown recurve. Start getting serious into it. Hey everyone. Have a good one.